We are here to enjoy a very exciting moment in Jazza Studios history. I finished early by over an hour, over an hour early of a three day shoot. I'm very excited. <laughs> that never happens. It always goes over time. Uh, so there's, there's a couple of things. First of all, I'm really just enjoying being back. And part of, I'm like, yeah, I'm early. What can I do to celebrate? I can make a little, I can check in with you guys. Um, so in getting back into the swing of daily vlogging again, there was a, a minor point of frisson that I, that I was like, oh, you know, I hope this doesn't slow me down or demotivate me to just sort of do this every day. And that was the question of the day because it, I got to sift through and find it and blah, blah, blah. But uh, sometimes that's sort of, sometimes they're not easy to find. Sometimes there's more in later, uh, like previous ones than the most recent one or whatever it is. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get to is I have an amazing PA who uh, I've asked for help. So she's going to be printing up <laughs> a bunch of the questions of the day every day for me to pick from. Probably just a couple, but uh, what, have, what have we got here? Uh, I, I'm going to, just because I have these and I feel so special, I'm going to rapid fire them. Uh, Katie Wolf 93 will my Epic Anatomy uh, product that I'm working on in the future include some animal anatomy as well? Unlikely, I think it's going to focus on specializing in human anatomy and then different extremes of human anatomy. I think animals is going to be a totally different thing, but I do want to do an animals thing. Charlap says, I love the idea of how to draw a book or an app. Maybe a kid-friendly version as well. Oh my God, you read my mind. I literally have in mind doing two apps, like a intermediate and advanced, like a, an adult one, and then a kid's one, which is like how to draw a unicorn, how to draw a SpongeBob, if we can get the licenses to that sort of thing. But yeah, I can totally see it. But obviously there are different safeguards and different things for kid stuff, but that is a, a dream. I would love to do that, and I want to do that and plan to do that. Trixie Next 9692 says, I'm also really interested in how Epic Anatomy will be presented. Will it be a book, video course, or some combination? That's a really good question. So Epic Anatomy is a concept at the moment. The plan is to do a book. I think 140 pages, which is what creating characters is, enough that we can sell it as a substantial standalone uh, ebook, but also self-publish, and which will entail kickstarting. Um, I'd also love, and I didn't mention this, there's so many ideas. I need to do a vlog just on sharing the crazy ideas that I'm not going to get to anytime soon. But one of them is like photogrammetry anatomy reference. So you know how I did the photo reference pack years and years and years and years ago? Um, doing like a photogrammetry version with various models of various body types that look like really cool character type people, but you know, like an ultra buff person and a cute chubby looking person and average or lanky or you know of both genders and doing photogrammetry and getting to different, different poses here like a 3d model you can anyway i love that concept let me know if you like that because i haven't shared that before but don't, and don't steal it uh, <laughs> edward westmoreland cow counter 6128 really great username there buddy for epic anatomy i'd like to see tips on how to turn a person into a character uh, also, a section on body language would be incredibly helpful. Yeah, definitely want to do that sort of thing. Static poses versus dynamic poses is one thing, but what story can be told about a character just from how they're standing? Absolutely. I think style and expression are going to be a huge part of epic anatomy because anatomy always gets bogged down on the details. So the approach to epic anatomy when we make that is going to be making sure we can cover the, the fundamentals, build a confidence in drawing anatomy at different angles with their form and function, but also like the point of anatomy, I mean, in illustration, is that it looks cool, like that you can draw it in a way that looks appealing. So that is going to be a huge approach is like, how do you do like Batman epic comic book anatomy? How do you do like subtle or stylistic or really quirky or extreme anatomy, all that stuff. That's why it's going to be epic anatomy. Um, Brandon Macre... Ma Brandon Macredis 1565 says, did the portable magnetic tabletop D&D service slash folder product that you were working on fall through? No. The uh, If you're referring to the tiles, the magnetic tiles uh that is still a project it's a little bit on hold because of space bears and alicia's actually wrapping the concept art for space bears in the next few weeks 
And then she's actually going to go back over to tiles because tiles was something I was working on. We've actually switched over to her. She's done some really cool work on it. So I will show you that in a future vlog. So we have made more progress on it. So the next phase is going to be like we need to refine some of the art and get the next load of samples. And I will immediately share that with you. But that is definitely, I, I, ha, I think that has huge potential. So, so we are working on that. Um, and last but not least, Jesus So Too 6101. <laughs> have we had a single normal username? I'm not sure. Could the Epic Anatomy dive into how to exaggerate anatomy and proportions to... Sorry, I've, I'm doing that thing where you read it and I'm not actually taking it in. Let me start again. Could the Epic Anatomy dive into how to exaggerate anatomy and proportions to add more personality? Yes, so I, I covered that. Also, could you maybe include how to utilize anatomy concepts when designing creatures? Probably not. We're probably going to stick to humans for this version, maybe. <gasps> if Epic Anatomy does well, maybe we do... Epic monster anatomy. Monstrous anatomy! <gasps> Monstrous anatomy! That would be cool! Because then it's like... Because then you'd cover animals in that because monster anatomy is usually derived from animals. So in terms of like covering foundational and then getting extreme, that would work really well. Look at us coming up with ideas! Oh my god! I love that. I, I mean... Let's see how Epic Anatomy does. We haven't even technically started it yet, but I'm really glad that so many people are excited about it. And these are just the people asking questions about it. Um, so thank you all for your feedback on that. I was going to update you on stuff. I finished early, so I should, I, I get to reward myself for starting vlogging. I'm going to go work on a little bit of game dev. I have some cool stuff I want to do. Uh, so on the way up to that, let me check in with Alicia to show you how her coloring is going oh and as we walk past here we're uh, in the midst of pulling all of our tech that we've ended up in storage over the years that tom and i are going to go through to <laughs> tomorrow and sort into piles of keep sell donate chuck you know so it, it, a lot of that tech is from like six years ago back in the first you know mural studio anyways i'll be with alicia and then we'll do a little bit of uh I'll move on to game dev. But hello, Alicia. Hello. I have um, I've handed over the third page of three, and I just want to check in. Can we give a hint, a preview of uh, what you've been working on? Absolutely. Oh my god. Maybe you shouldn't open up one of them. Oh no, it's too late. Ah, I feel like we're spoiling it. Oh, should I? Oh, uh, close, just... close that one. Okay. Okay. It's I feel close. like it's enough. That left panel. I feel like that's okay. It's so good. That's all you get. That's all you get. It's a good teaser though. I'll leave you to it. Sorry for bothering you. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you, Maddie, for cutting, cutting up all the questions of the day for me. Okay. I am going to call that a vlog. This was fun. Let's do it again sometime. I'm compelled to end on a question of the day, but I opened up on like 10. So I'll see you in the next video.